welcome students in the previous class we studied about different types of joints and their functions in this class we will study about sense organs the sense organs are the body organs by which we can see hear taste touch and feel there are five sense organs in this lecture we will discuss the sense organs of human beings humans are not the only species with sensing capacity animals also have sense organs you may have heard or witnessed that dogs have a special sense of smell and owls can see in darkness hence it would be interesting to study sensory organs of different animals also so we will study about sense organs in humans and in animals in humans we will study about the structure and functions of eyes ears nose tongue and skin in animals we will study about the sensory organs in water animals reptiles birds mammals and in insects let us discuss our sense organs one by one eyes are organs of the visual system they are the part of sensory organs also eyes help us to see various objects around us with the help of our eyes we can see the beauty of nature they help us to detect light and convert it to electrical signals let us see our eye in detail this is the front view of eye here you can see eyelashes color part black part and white part this is a picture of internal structure of eye here you can see different parts of the eye cornea pupil iris sclera retina optic nerves and lens we will discuss different parts of eye one by one colored part of the eye is called iris it is located in the center of cornea it may be of different colors bulgy part of the eye is called cornea it is surrounded by tear fluids which is produced in the tear glands and protect the eye white part of the eye is called sclera which surrounds the cornea black dot present at the center of the eye is called pupil it is an opening through which light enters the eye children what happens when you shine torch in your eyes it contracts because pupil has to allow optimum light to enter into the eyes which prevents damage to eyes that is why it is said you should not look towards the sun directly retina is the innermost light sensitive layer of tissue of the eye it is just like a screen on which images are formed and it is located near the optic nerve the eye is connected to the brain by a nerve that is called optic nerve then we will study about ear the ear is the organ of hearing and balance it is very sensitive organ of our body there are three parts of ear outer ear middle ear and inner ear ear drum divides the outer ear from middle ear children what happens when bell rings in a school 
it produces sound but how does the sound travel to your brain and makes you very excited here we will discuss about the process of hearing through diagram hearing starts with the outer ear when sound is made outside the outer ear sound waves travel in the form of vibrations and strike the eardrum then eardrum vibrates vibrations are passed into the middle ear middle ear send the sound waves to the inner ear and the fluid filled hearing organs once the sound waves reach the inner ear they are converted into electrical signals then the auditory nerves send these signals to the brain and then brain translates these signals as sound in this way we can hear the sound just try to recall the picture once again now nose is the prominent part present between the eyes it provides air for respiration children do you know hair present inside the nose filters air that enters into the nose then you just think which animal has great sense of smell and try to give the answer from this diagram then this is the picture of tongue it is a muscular organ present in the mouth and it allows us to sense hot and cold in food many taste buds are present in the tongue and these taste buds are used to taste food you can see in this picture there are different taste buds that provides us different taste like bitter sour salty and sweet then skin skin is the largest organ of our body it performs a large number of functions like sensation communication with other human beings through touching and heat regulation in this big figure what happens here or children how do you feel when you touch the hot object you just think what will be the answer okay brain receives signal from nerves at the end of the skin then brain processes the information and sends signal what kind of signal here remove your hand this process occurs very fast think think about it Yes, students like human beings animals also have sense organs sense organs allow animals to sense changes in the environment around them they allow animals to sense the presence of fine food and predators around them we will discuss uh, sensory organs in water animals reptiles birds mammals and insects one by one this is the picture of fish fish can sense sound through their lateral line children what is lateral line this is the microscopic pores present under the skin 
which helps to detect prey and predators movement with the help of lateral eye they feel vibrations and current under water then reptiles for example snake and in lizard they have long flicking tongue as you can see in the picture olfactory bulbs are also present and these tongue help them to catch the prey and with the help of these tongue and skin they feel vibrations this is a picture of monitor lizards they have um, they have also long tongue which helps to feel and smell with the help of skin it feels vibration birds birds have the same five senses like sight hearing touch taste and smell but the exact senses depend on its species they have good eyesight they produce peculiar sound and they can form different patterns in the sky and they have well developed sense organs and they form different interesting patterns in the sky children ecologists are trying to understand the peculiar sounds of birds do you know what is bioacoustics bio biology and acoustic indicates sound means sounds of animals or birds then mammals the development and structure of the organs of senses depend on the way of life of animals some mammals have a weaker sense of smell than others some have sharper sense of light and they have well developed sense organs dogs have a highly developed sense of smell whereas bird bats have a special power to hear high pitched sound can you give the answer why bats hunt at night then sensory organs in insects here you can see the picture of cockroach in insects they have feelers Feel, feeler means you can say these are antenna and these are present on its head feelers have sense in touch vibrations air motion and especially smell and taste house fly uses its legs to get signal thank you for watching this video